Hi, I'm going to very quickly show you how to find measures of center and variation again. This is something you already did in your technology assignment. But this is for your project, and I'm going to start by going to GeoGebra Classic. And in this one, I just I like this better, a better way to look at this. I'm going to click up here and then click on Spreadsheet. And then I'm going to do this drop-down arrow, close that, and do this drop down arrow and close that. I like this better as a look. But what I want to do is copy and paste some data into here and I'm going to go to the project where I have sorted two different things. I have, I'm have i using ratings, G and K, you'll be using adult and children, but I'm just going to go ahead and select that data and I'm going to go copy um, control C, sorry, I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go back to GeoGebra and hit that first cell and do control V and put that data in there. So I want to find the measures of center and variation for both of these things. I'm going to do one at a time. So I'm going to select this column and then do uh, one variable analysis. It's going to give me my uh, histogram. And then um, let's see if I can lower that a little bit so you can see the bottom of that. And then I'm going to click on the sigma over here and it's going to show me all those values I need uh, which is my minimum and maximum uh, my mean standard deviation standard deviation sorry mean standard deviation to find the variation I'm going to take the standard deviation to the second power and I'll get that that way um, and so I have all those values very quickly using GeoGebra to do that then once I get those values, I can go back and highlight the second column and get the values for the second column uh, kind of at the same time. So you can do one at a time or uh, put one column at a time in there or put them all in there, but just highlight the column that you're interested in at that time.